Hello guys, welcome to my channel, Peter Annie here. In this video, I will show you how to grab a ball and release a ball in Unity VR. So if you see, when we, in, when we look at the ball, we can grab a ball. When we're not looking, we can interact. So, and I also added these two little hands, so to look nicer. So in this video, I will show you everything step by step, how we can create this awesome mechanic. So if you don't know how to set up, in this video, I won't set up the, the scene for VR. So if you don't know, please uh, check in the description below. I'll leave a link for the video. You watch the beginning and you learn how to set up the scene. And then you come back to this video. And if you already know, just let's do it. Okay, guys. So first, what we need to do is, um, so we need to grab, we want to grab a ball. So let's add a ball here, sphere. Um, I'm just going to put here on the side. And let's call it. Let's call it a ball. Okay. And now what we need is um, a hand. Let's call create a hand. And let's call this uh, just uh, my hand. You create it inside the main camera, an uh, empty game object. Call it my hand. And just let position in front of the camera here. Just, just to check where the camera is. I actually I like to add a box collider just to know exactly where a game game object is in front of the camera um, oh no jesus um yeah i think this is okay you can delete again the box collider we won't need it so remove component so perfect so we, we have our our hand and the ball that's everything we need to start the script so now let's create a script called let's call player player grab So let's double click to open. So once the script is open, let's add the code. So we need a public game object. We need to get the ball first. We need also a hand, our hand. So we need a variable for the ball and for my hand. So let's call it my hand. Perfect. And for, for now, that's it, yeah. So in update method, we need to get input from the mouse, let's say, um, input dot get button down so like in the previous tutorial I'll use fire one so this gets the the mouse button or input or from the touch, touch screen if you touch the screen uh, that's gonna happen something so we're gonna grab the ball so for the code now we need the ball dot transform dot set parent I, I give it to my hand and we need to, uh, oh yeah, uh, oh yeah, I forgot something here, dot transform, this, yeah. So in here we need ball dot transform dot local position, yep, equals, uh, let's try my hand dot transform. I'm not sure if uh, dot local position actually. Um, now we go back to Unity. We have here our ball, we just simply grab the ball here, and my hand here. Perfect. I'm not sure of the position the ball is gonna be after we grab it, so let's test it. Okay, so if I press, see, it's in front. It's where the position of the hands are. I don't really like that because you see, we can't even interact with the, with the cube anymore. So let's work on this now. So now for us to find a, like a good position for where we want the ball to, to be, we simply like drag the ball inside my hand, come to the ball, reset the position. So yeah, and here in the camera, we see, okay, this is not good. So what we should do is like change a little bit where we, exactly where we want. So I think, um, I don't want like to touch the, the bottom, so um nah. let's change the size of the ball like point a point a point a is a little bit smaller so yeah so now what we have here um i think this is a good value yeah so on the y-axis we have minus uh minus 0 0.63 so we what we're gonna do now we go back here Leave the ball outside. Uh, we leave the ball here. 
just put the ball in the position where before was before yeah and let's edit the script so here we come back to our script and we come here and we create a new vector tree and we give the value so no, x is zero y it's going to be the minus uh, point six seven two f and minus zero f all f um, close the brackets save it let's go back so now we hit play and if we hit the click see now the ball it's in the position we want i can still interact with the cube and if we had another object and everything and the scene we're still able to interact and we still have the ball but now we want to release the ball so what we should do okay to release the ball let's say we want to Put the ball back in the place it was before so what we should do is we need to let's see we have those values here this is where the ball is exactly is at the moment so uh it's very simple we go back to our script here in our script here in our script we simply we're gonna have a ball let's call in my hand like in hands i call it in hands so so if um, in in hands is false, we're gonna be able to grab the ball. So we add this this code we wrote. So that means if the ball is not my hands, we gonna grab the ball. If it's not, so else else if in hands, so your hands is true, we're gonna simply just um, ball dot transform dot set parent we're gonna set the parent to new no and the we're gonna give the position back so dot transform dot local position um, equals we could we have two ways to do it I want to do the lazy way okay so the the lazy way is going to be we just created a vector tree variable here called uh, let's call ball post like uh, ball position and here ball position position is like ball gets a ball that transform that position it's just going to get the position the first position of the ball that's it on the start method so here we call this um, script this ball post and that's it we save it let's go back to unity actually before we go back to unity we need to do one thing we need to go to balls my hands and actually we need a false because it start with false and here when it's false we set it to true so uh, in hands equals true and once we release we can want to be able to grab again so in hands equals false okay so now we're able to go back let's test it grab the ball release the ball grab the ball release the ball but this is kind of weird um we don't even need to look to the ball to grab it. so i will show you now how we can we activate the script only when we look at the ball because imagine if you're in a different scene a different way and you want to grab an object and then you ended up grabbing the ball which is the other side because here at the moment doesn't matter where we are now if i put the player here or everywhere doesn't matter he will be able to grab this ball you want to be able to grab this object when we look at it right? you know like the same way we interact with the cube here you see so we want to do the same with the ball so let's stop here and and to do this is very simple we could just go to the ball here we need to add um, event trigger add new event so uh, pointer enter and we need also wait so pointer enter we click in this plus here and we need to drag the player and here what we do is player grab who enable so mark this that is um, enable and we need another event pointer exit and uncheck so now and go back to player and here on the grab uncheck this and let's see 
Okay, so if I look at the ball, it should be, you see, if I look at the ball, we can activate the script. So now I'm not able to grab the ball anymore. See, if I press click, but if I look at the ball and click, yeah, there I have it. But now I have another problem. I can't put the ball back to the place because now the script is inactive. So for this, it's very simple. We go to the ball. I'm just going to set its trigger. Uh, we don't need to. You don't actually need to do that, but I'm just going to do it because um, when I grab the ball, if I look at the bottom, the ball moves. So this is better to work with to show to demonstrate this example. So add new event, pointer up, and we just enable this. So if we test, now we should be able to put the ball back. So when I look at the ball, I can I can grab the ball. Now I can I grab the ball. Now I'm able to put it back. Well, we have another problem. I don't need to look at the ball anymore to put the ball in the place so to grab or release the ball. So for this is also a very simple technique. We go back to the script. We go to the player script. Yeah, and here just very simple line. So I'm gonna get this the get component. Uh, we're gonna get the player grab script set uh, enable equals false. So what that means is this component, this object, get a component uh, player grab, which is our script uh, enable set to false. So if we had the ball in hand when you click fire, we're gonna um, uh, disable the script. So save it. Let's go back to Unity here and test again. So see we have the script false here, so it's disabled. So when I look the ball, I have it, yeah, I have it. So now it's enabled again. I can put it back, but I can grab again, only if I look at the ball again, see? So it's working perfect. Um, yeah, so great. So now we can grab and put our, our ball back. Okay, guys, so now we have the cube and the ball. We can grab the ball and everything. And we can also interact with the cube, and we can only grab the ball if we look to the ball. See? Perfect. So everything here is working perfect. So I just want to add one more thing. Just look nicer. Um, I want to add like a hand to our player. I will show you like a quick and way to, to do it. So just add a cube to my hand. And the values I have here, I like to work with 0.1 and just leave where you feel like looks better for you and i think here it looks okay duplicate 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 it jeez and okay so now i have to do it again i think this way looks looks okay yeah that looks okay so let add a color to it i create a material color here for the hands and i'm just gonna add to the to the hands and let's test it. So now if I grab the ball, yeah, looks like our character have like two pixel hands, like a Minecraft or something like that. So he can grab and release the ball. See, very simple. Okay, guys, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe. Um, this video was really fun to create. Uh, there's actually a new th few things I didn't know about, so I had to discover. And so please let me know what you think. If you learn anything, if you have any questions, if you have any problem doing the tutorial, just leave in a comment below. I'll answer. No problem at all. And see you in the next one.